should I start this letter? Hmm. You used to go through my phone, accusing me of sleeping with Eric, Vic, and Ramon. While you were telling your boys about all your dirt, not even giving a damn if I got hurt. Buying from off the street when you told me you were vegan and you didn't eat meat. To think, you wanted me to put all of this behind me after just six weeks? When you were cheating on me like you were a dog in heat? You manipulating, blood-sucking evil man. Very soon, you're going to see God's hand. Because no one gets away with all the wrong you've done. Your life will never, ever be a good one. Wow. Did anyone notice how my words rhyme? That was not even intentional. That was cool, right? Anyway, where was I with my angry letter? Okay. We spent several years together. And now that we are apart, I just wanted to tell you some additional things that's in my heart. The seven-year itch that you had with that bitch still had me burning and walking with a mother twitch. From chlamydia to gonorrhea and genital herpes too. I've gotten my share of STDs dealing with you. Okay, I just wanted to pause to make sure everyone understand. I put these specific STDs in here for climatic effect. So any single man watching this program right now, call me, reach out to me, contact me, because I'm STD free. I digress. Let me continue. As I sit here and think about all the f that you put me through, I can't help but feel like I should be plotting to... Oh, the pencil point broke. They don't even make pencils like they used to. Where's my phone? Hmm, you know what? Maybe I should leave that killing and plotting stuff out and just continue from there. Okay, great. I have too much to live for to toss it all away. I'm not trying to end up in jail and be sent far away. I want to be here to keep my eye on you, to watch from afar of what becomes of you. See, I know. I'm the best you ever had. No, seriously. I'm definitely the best he ever had. You don't even want to see them hoes you used to mess with. Plus, I am well educated. Two master's degrees. I'm a bank manager. I even Uber on weekends. Not to mention, I'm multi-talented and super sexy. I digress, but... Let me get on with my letter, because I want to finish this today. Okay. No woman would put up with all the excuses that you had. Unmotivated, pretentious, no common sense having prick. Couldn't even make me climax with your average size prick. I warned you about the holes, but you wouldn't let go. That's why you got infected by that dirty <laughs> her, you, and your dirty friends too. Oh, the phone died. I thought I charged my batteries. I need to finish this letter today. I have things to do. Okay, let me get my computer. Okay, where was I? I have to finish this today. Thank God I'm almost finished anyway. Ah. Here I was. Every last one of your loser friends that supported and encouraged you, where are they now? All gone their separate ways? While you're still in your mother's basement struggling to find your way? To think, your mother and brother taught you was something special. But you were nothing more than an unwanted child produced by a one-night stand. And that's nothing special. Not even sure who your daddy is? Huh. Well, instead of buying off the streets, 
you should have paid for a DNA test that pay week. Anyway, before I go, I just want to say thank you for inspiring my topic of the, of the day. Watch my TV show where I'll be talking about you. Believe me, it's much cheaper than therapy and it's fascinating too. I'm done with this letter and I'm done with you too. I know you miss me, but that's totally on you. Bye. Now, let's start with the Miss Francois show. You're watching the Miss Francois show. Thank you for joining me today on the Miss Francois show, where comedy meets reality. As you can see, I look amazing today. That's because we have a special show today. We have men on the show. And in case one of these men are single, believe me, I've been going to try to get a ring today. But anyway, today's segment is called Men Feel Too. I don't know exactly what they're feeling, but let's join my guest today and find out what men feel. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, good. Great. Thank you so much, Jason Kerr and Mr. Kyrie Jana for joining us this afternoon. So, let me see. Jason, you said you're a businessman, you're a CEO of your own company called JK International, which focuses on what? Tell me what it focuses on. We focus on growing people and growing their income as well. Oh, nice. In addition, you have written a book. What is your book called? Uh, Could have bought Gucci. Could have bought Gucci. Tell me a tiny synopsis about that. Oh, so it's a little bit about my crazy uh, ex-girlfriend. Okay, that uh, song's a little long. So... <laughs> Going right into you, Miss. So it's basically yours. Is basically saying about whatever your ex, because here I see it has to do with doing being okay with your singleness and making you be prepared for a good relationship. Absolutely. Okay, so that's basically the nutshell. Right to you, Mister Kyrie Jenner. You look a little scared today. You okay? I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so your background is Wall Street, and in entertainment, you're an entrepreneur and you specialize in sales. Yes. Mm. What yeah. you selling? What you want to buy. <laughs> <laughs> you also do spoken word poetry and you're an independent contractor in a solar power industry. Yes. Tell me a little about that. Which one? Okay, that, well, you took too long. Uh, so, yeah. therefore, we're going to go right into it because this segment is called, what is it called? Men be feeling too. Awesome. So, my first question is, what you all be feeling? Because we women are very emotional. We feel a lot of things. So, what you all be feeling? You want to answer that, Mr. Kirk? <laughs> I mean, it, we, we, we feel, um, we have feelings as well. Sometimes men pretend like, you know, our egos are so big, like we don't get hurt emotionally. We get hurt emotionally too, um, most times, right? We feel pain too. Yes, that's it. That's why y'all feel a lot, I, I women? Pain? I don't, I don't, yeah, we feel pain I don't too. Feel pain. You don't feel pain? I don't feel no pain. Oh, so I, give I, me an example of what pain you have felt, Mr. Jana. When I stumped my toe <laughs> going to the, um, Lock the door at night to make sure the family's safe. Mm. What, you were locking the other woman, the mistress, from coming in? Mm. I mean, I'm trying to figure out Whoa. what... Listen, if I didn't lock her out, I'd be feeling more pain. So you see, you see what I'm saying? So I just want to get the whole point of the whole pain with relationships. What pain do you have you all felt in relationship? Someone has hurt you. Give me a story. Who has hurt you or, or how did that make you feel? Uh, you want to take this Nah, one? you got that. You, that sounds like your alley. Oh, wow, that's your, crazy. Your lane. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I, I'll give you a story. So, one of, in one of my relationships, the pain I dealt with... One of my oh. relationships. Go ahead. One of your re many relationships. Typical man. Mm. Oh. Not at the same I'm sorry, time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a little biased. I know, obviously, this <coughs> is coming from bias. a deeper place. I'm so sorry. Mm, yeah, Go ahead, was, Mr. Jason. That was personal. That was personal. Um, not at the same time. But one of my relationships, um, I was hurt by the woman. She wouldn't allow me to lead, right? She wanted me to lead. Um, but then she le led my, my lead, right? Which was actually very painful to me because I like to be, I'm a man, I like to lead. And if, and if I'm not allowed to, um, it's hurtful to me. If you're, if you, if you're going to be the man 
two, then it might as well just be single. Right? What am I here for if I'm not going to be allowed to be the man? That but at the same yourself. time, I could see that as maybe you wasn't a good leader, so sometimes people had to take over and lead mm -hmm. if the man is not stepping up to what he's supposed to be doing. Are you a leader in your relationship? Why do you look at me when you made that statement? Because <laughs> I was already... responding to him. Right, <laughs> but I'm turning it to you, so I wanted right. to know what? with leading. Are you a leader? Is that part of the reason maybe relationships f fail? Like, for instance, that's one of the issues he had in his relationship, and that hurt him because he wasn't being able to lead in that relationship. Have you had that issue? No. So what is the main cause to cause you hurt in a particular relationship? What have you been through? Oh, I've been through a lot, quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Way, way back when, a young lady faked a pregnancy on me, you know. Um, they do that a lot. Yeah, you know, and I was actually in, in love with this woman and come to find out she wasn't pregnant after months and so forth and made arrangements as far as, uh, you know, changing my lifestyle and preparing for this child. So that's tell me, that song's... It was, I, was in a, I was in a deep relationship with her. Right, but so. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Most many women fake pregnancy and stuff like that because when they feel like they're going to lose somebody. Why would she do that if she knows you're in love with her and so forth? Well, Why well, would well, she do the, that? The, the truth be told, um, some, if someone is very insecure, that's something I can't fix that. Mm. They have to fix that. Just Speak like on it, brother. just like you being happy. Happiness is an inside job. I can't make you happy. So mm. because of she faked the pregnancy, even though you did whatever you were supposed to mm -hmm. do, that ended the relationship for you? That's what hurt oh, you? Oh, hell yeah. Trust. Yeah, well, beep. Oh, beep. Yeah. That ended the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Now, it didn't end right away because I was still in love and so forth, but no, it, inevitably that was, it. that was the reason why. She and I, um, you know, and but that was, the pain was betrayal. That was, that was, a, that was pain right there. You don't think that that's, that's an ending relationship point? I think that's something that they could talk about still and find out the deep root of that whole thing. Even though it says insecurity, there are other ways that things can be done. Maybe you get counseling, maybe you get therapy, maybe something you all could work together. But I don't know, you know, men quick to walk away and find another woman because uh -huh. it's easier. But that's just me again, so I'm so yeah. sorry. Men, do you think men hurt women more or do women tend to hurt men more in re typical relationships? Y'all hurt, your, hurt yourselves. Why do you say that? Because y'all exchange a lot of crazy information amongst yourselves to Good yourselves. Point. So who we should be talking to? We should be talking to you. We should call you, Mr. Jason, and you're going to give us advice so we don't talk to you. You're saying not to talk to other women? No. About advice I'm, and relationships? Well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you're going to talk to other women, make sure the women are women that have good advice. Because a lot of these women that, that the woman goes to run to are battered, beaten, broke down women who are giving bad advice to that woman. And now her relationship is in, is in spoils because of getting bad information. So if you're going to get information, get information from a good fruit. Don't get information from a rotten fruit. So let me ask you a question. How did these fruits get rotten in the first place? Okay, okay. So let's let's jump on this. Let's knock this over. Let's jump on this. Okay, let's 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 get to it. Don't get me. Let's just get to it. Okay. So, no, there's no call. I didn't get no call. No, it's the Miss Francois show. Just, oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Back around. All right. Thank cool. you. Um, so, not all the time is it men being the root of a woman's hurt. Sometimes it could be the father. Sometimes it could be the uncle. To, it could be some type of figure that was male in that woman's life where she was hurt before she came into that relationship. And that's, the, that's what some of my book is talking about, where people don't, they don't know how to be themselves first. They bring a lot of baggage and issues into the relationship and expect that man to fix it or expect that man to be Mr. Detective because he's supposed to just know. Like, we're supposed to just know. And we're supposed to come in and I'll fix these issues for you and put you back together like Humpty Dumpty and then send you off. And that's not, that's not fair. And it's not, it's not really um, a good idea to do, right? But a, a lot of this does not come from um, hurt from a man. I think that's something that's just not talked about. Like, all the women, all the people in the world love to say, okay, the, the woman was hurt because the man did it or he messed up. But if you go deeper into the root of things, sometimes it's not just the man. What's the name of this book again? I could have bought Gucci. I could have bought Gucci. I'm definitely getting me a copy. Mm. Intense. Mm. But with that said, right, sometimes I like to say, since you all got hurt, and it's somewhat fair to say that women still tend to get more hurt in a relationship than men do. Are we saying that or are we not saying that? I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying, not that. saying that. So you're, basically you all get hurt the same way. No. The level may be, the, 
the, the amount may be, but the level is different. I believe that women, the, the, the feeling of the hurt is bigger than, than men. Because men, we, we're, we're built to brush things off. We respond differently. It, right. We were, good. Yeah. I knew I was friends with you for a reason. Yeah. Good, good point. We respond differently. So let me ask you a question. Are you all in relationships? With, with each other? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. We did no, hear that's, about that's the another big, show. We did hear about the big gay ice cream parlor. Oh, but but oh. we weren't going there oh, together. Oh, okay. Oh, no. But anyway, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's focus, focus. Right <laughs> what? So, so are you in a relationship? Uh, no. Oh, why? Because uh, you got hurt? Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little about that. I got hurt. <laughs> the end. <laughs> but you see, you see, this is one of the issues that yes. even though women are more emotional, we're more able to open up and mm -hmm. talk to someone about it, regardless if it's a person's a bad fruit or not. But sometimes people say men hold things inside. Mm -hmm. No, I'm actually going through a divorce. That's, okay, that's what that is. And that was your fault? Oh no, 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 it's our fault. Okay, I, I accept response as much responsibility as she does. Okay, so. Was it a nasty divorce or was it, it was no, no, one of those? No, nah, no drama. No, 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 no nasty divorce. A divorce okay. is divorce. You know, it's, it's, just a, it's, it's a breaking up, breaking of the vows. Right, and all but I know a lot stuff. of people yeah. that go through really bad divorces and yeah. some people divorce, divorce is not too bad. And so far, it's let's okay. say it's so good. Okay, are you in a relationship, Mr. Kerr? Absolutely. And how is that going? It's fantastic. What would make this relationship better than another relationship, just period. I took time out for myself between the last relationship and this one to find out who I was as a man and to find out and to operate as a single person first. I, I never did that. How long you took? Uh, a good four years. Were you celibate? Yes. Oh. Still celibate. Another thing I'm not doing. Okay, no problem. I, you, have you ever thought of being a celibate? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Have I? Have have, I yeah, being, okay, see what he said in his book, right? He said, thought about what? Being, selling, selling what? Abstinence. <laughs> oh, abs abstaining. Yes, because just like he said. I've done when that his, in the past. Done that in the past, but I'm saying like right now, being that uh, he waited a certain period of time mm -hmm. to get back into a relationship because of whatever hurt he faced, mm -hmm. you're going through a divorce. That's even more devastating because that was a whole commitment you made, a vow. Mm -hmm. So are you maybe focusing on maybe going that route? Going celibate? Yes. That's not a focus of mine. Okay. If so, it don't happen, it don't happen. So what if are you doing? Happen, are you are you looking for someone now, or you just? I'm good. Yeah. You're meaning, good. meaning. Uh, let, let, let's back up. I don't I don't walk out my door looking for a mate. I don't operate that way. You know, if, when when God will place her in my path in due season, in due time. Okay. So. See, I, I have trouble with that. Okay, speak on but it. Be, Even as a man or another man, I got trouble with that. All right, let's hear it. Okay, well, so hold that thought. So, you know what? We're going to take a minute break. Okay. Because that song, like, you're going to be intense. Because he was, like, banging yeah, on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? I give so, him space. So, we're going to be right back with the Miss France for show. So, we can hear what these men have to say and how hurt they continue to be. I'm not biased whatsoever. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds, and swallowing those moments of, Mom, it's me, your daughter. Remember, my strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Welcome back to the Miss Francois Show. Where today we have two men on the show. You know, I normally don't have men. Handsome. Ha handsome men. Excuse one me. is single. I'm working on that. And the other one, uh, he's taken or something, whatever. Mm. So we're back with Jason Kerr and Kyrie Jana. We left off. Where did we left off? His, you finger, was, his finger was doing Yeah, this. your finger yes. was doing something like you had a serious point. What was that point, Mr. Kerr? My point was is that men and women say that. It's su such of a common cliche to say, I'm waiting. Um, you know, God's gonna, you know, bring this person to me. That doesn't exist. I didn't do that while I'm in a great relationship now with this woman. Because what I did is I put myself in the area to find. I didn't go out every day and, and like, sort out for a woman. Like, okay, I'm gonna go into this coffee shop and I'm gonna look for a woman. No. But I put myself in places where I know um, women would be 
where I can connect naturally. And I think this is the disconnect that men and women have. They say, oh, God, they'll, get, they'll be 40 years old and be like, okay, God is, I'm just waiting on God. Well, maybe God's waiting on you. I'll give clarity, though. I never said anything about waiting. Oh. The same thing as I said, never said about looking. Oh. I, it also, too, depends on the season you are in your life. True. Just like how you had to take time out for yourself to redevelop, redefine, and so forth. True. That's what I'm talking about, along, along the lines of the season, being whatever season you're in. But again, are you in, are you in winter or summer? Well, it depends. I'm getting ready to go into fall. Fall? Yeah. Who are you falling for? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, she may okay. come along. Who knows? I, I want to hear your perspective, perspective on well, this. Well, oh, before you even go into that, yeah. I think the, a, a key difference between men and women, let's say perspective, is that like a lot of times you hear women are looking for a good man. Yes. With a that lot accent? Of, yeah, that accent too. They okay. all accents. They all looking for a good man. The vision. Jesus Christ, I want to find me a good man. Whatever, whatever accents needed, they looking for a good man. Yes, we for are. For the most part, men, that's not our, our, our same journey. We're not, you know, we come to a space or season, well, okay, now we, whether we want to settle down and so forth, then we look or seek or so be most ready of the time, for whoever's compatible. Even though this segment is basically how you are hurt, what you're telling me is that According to your season, mm -hmm. you hurt women, basically, Ooh. because you get into a relationship and you're not serious because you're not in a season to settle down. But who so, said I get into a relationship? Exactly. Okay, you're not. Okay. Well, I don't know what you're telling these women, but to me, from a woman point of view, most of the time you all, you're, you're supposedly dating, you smash it, whatever they want to mm. call it or whatever the case might be. The woman is thinking something else. She's getting hurt time and time and time again. Then you all finally reach this season which most of the time is when you're like 40 and in some kind of crisis, and then you all are looking to settle down. And when someone hurts you, now you come on my show to tell me you're hurt. But y'all women do the same exact thing. You call it's me here. <laughs> I didn't come on your show to tell you I am hurt. But okay. <laughs> well, you got to do the same exact thing. I, we, this is mm. it. Since we're small, especially a lot of women, mm -hmm. we start with the Dolly House and the yeah. Barbie and the one. Ken. Right, we already planned this whole wedding by the time we're 10. Mm. You all are with trucks and fire, trucks and police cars, and you all giving True. chase. So it, it's a different mindset. Mm -hmm. So we're, all, we're always ready. You, all are, you, you said that you're just not in the particular season. So this is my thing. So women, since they're 10, they're planning this. So that means they're being hurt through that whole span for the, for the most part. Not to say they're not going to get a good guy, but they're getting hurt for a Unless long period of time. Unless they decide to wait. And there's a book on wit. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can pick it up at the... Yeah. <laughs> a, good friend, a good friend of mine, she's... I'll get her contact. <laughs> it's a choice. Well, you know, one thing I definitely want to touch on before we go, right? Sometimes they say, like, woman, you could hurt woman, say you cheat on her, the trust is broken, whatever the case might be for the relationship. Mm -hmm. And say she was in three, four different relationships. And she moved, she moved on, right? Mm -hmm. But then they could still continue to love again. As for men, they, that's different. You all get something, you all in a serious love, love relationship, you all get hurt, right? And as soon as you all get hurt, that one particular time, it's like you all can't even move on. No. Go that's ahead. That's not every man. That's a very biased Blanket statement. Did I not say I'm not biased? Yeah. Whatsoever? Well, anyway, that's a that's a very blanket statement. Yes, we come across people, men as well as women, who are jaded, and um, that's not always the case. For myself, I'm very fortunate not to be jaded. I can be hurt. I can lick my wounds. They heal. We move on, and I can love again. Okay. So you plan on loving again? Of course. You plan on maybe getting married again after this last divorce? Um, and... sure. It prov provided the structure. No, 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 because okay. I don't want to say he said wait, and then she's just going to plop up in front of my <laughs> back. So, yeah, I can, see, I can see that happening again. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good to say. So, this particular relationship, you've seen it going into marriage? Of course. Of course, you paused. Because mm. I have to be careful what I say. I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just, just checking. It's a real show, though, so, right? She exactly, so I'm just straight. asking questions. Mm -hmm. So again, thank you. Well, no, it is going into marriage. Is it, well, it isn't go okay. It is, isn't, is, is, is. Okay, I'm just making sure. I get my is, isn't. I don't mm, know. Yeah. Just making sure. We, you know, we, we cool. Yeah. We cool. No, I'm good. All right, you good? You good? We good. All right. So 
You're still looking. If they come, fine. You're not going to wait. I never said I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's not looking. So I'm sorry. He, he's not looking whatsoever. If you show up and you fell down and he falls on you, that's happened. Yeah, but he's that, not looking. That, that can Mr. Kerr is taken. Okay? 100%. He's taken. So I just want to say thank you all. It's good to know men hurt too. I think sometimes... From my perspective, you all should hurt a little more. It would make me feel a little better. But we don't know. Oh my God, hurt. that sounds like a kid coming yes, in a lug of yes, baggage, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, it does. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. We also feel things too. Mm. <laughs> 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 with that said, thank you again for coming on. So, you know what? Going forward with my show, I'll try to be a little more open oh, mm -hmm. to hearing how, you know, men hurt and feel. your side of the things, how you all feel. feel yes. So, but thank you again. You look really sharp, Mr. Yeah. Kerr. Too yeah. bad you're off the market because mm. I'm sure a lot of ladies looking is like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Jana, you look all right. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I know if I... You... <laughs> You ain't serious yet. You see, he committed. Yes, he is. I, you, I don't know He's what season serious. you're going into. Me? So, yeah, okay. yeah. I don't know what season you're going, going into. So, no, thank yeah. you. But thank you again, guys, for coming in. Thank you. It was thank nice you. talking with you. Us. You're Absolutely. very welcome. Yes. We feel things, too. <laughs> <laughs> with that said, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the Miss Francois Show, where comedy meets reality. Mm. Ian, you're looking real good. You're looking real good today. You single, Ian? Because these two guys here have put on this nice outfit for no reason. Mm. So you wanna you having we lunch dinner? I mean, I go pay boy again desperate. I can't <laughs> find a man. So if you want me to pay, I will be a sugar mommy, a sugar anything. Mm. Honey. Mm. But, oh goodness. Okay. Uh, well, you, I, I, I come in, Ian. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> How much time is that? We still on camera. What are all the business? <laughs> this is good. Can, we, can I get it? We got this coming? We can get off.